So here we have the Explorer ST and we're developing an intercooler for it. Right here we have our 3D printed prototype that we use for fitment. For this, we're kind of analyzing how big of a core we could fit in there um, and developing a way to mount it. Uh, one of the big challenges on this truck is that the stock intercooler is entirely mounted to the radiator and when we're developing a core that's significantly bigger and significantly heavier, we're going to have to find different ways to mount it that don't rely directly on the plastic end tanks of the radiator. Do you have the stock one right now? How is that one mounted? And compare the sizes. So this one, I would say weighs about five pounds. So mounting it with that one bolt hole and this one living hinge right here is not really a problem. But when you're going to a bar and plate intercooler with a core about four times the size, we're gonna have more weight on it. So we need to be able to support that weight. So that's what we have here with these uh, aluminum pegs that go down to the core support. So it's actually, mounted vertically and then we have two other brackets that hold it up here so that it doesn't move around. So the next step would be fixing a few small fitment issues. These stock shrouds are getting in the way a little bit so we're going to see if we could work with them or if they may need to be taken off. Right in front of here is a giant grill shutter assembly that comes out to here. Uh, so we're limited in room where we could go forward because that whole grill shutter assembly holds the adaptive cruise control and it holds the latch for the hood. There was a little part that hung down and touched the core, so we had to bring the core back a little bit. So there's really no way to work around that, so we have to fit between the AC condenser here and the grill shutter assembly. Instead of going all the way down to here, which we could have done, we only went to here because you have a bar that goes across here. The crash bar? Yeah, the crash bar, and there's no holes in the grill shutters there anyway, so you're not really getting any airflow right there. So we brought it down to just about where the grill shutters end to really maximize the area where the air could even flow through. So the next step would be to go back into the CAD model and uh, tweak it a little bit and make any changes that we feel are necessary based off of, uh, this test fit. And then we will make a few samples and do some testing to see which one performs the best.